Netflix. People have been debating about the uh, debating about the effectiveness of sanctions. There was a report that said they're ineffective. Winston is a South African. Do you agree? Um, no, look, sanctions and political pressure from overseas is what changed uh, the South African government and landscape. Absolutely. You know, mm. as a well, I mean, it's a small country on the tip of Africa. It's very self-sufficient. I mean, that's why we have all of our homegrown brands. You know, we didn't have McDonald's and Starbucks and stuff. So sure. we, we got all these weird things like spur steakhouses and and whatnot. Um, and South Africa could survive to a certain point, but so much pressure and being cut off from the rest of the world to the point where you just didn't have access to anything was what pushed it over the edge. Not yeah. being allowed to do international sporting competition, not allowed to, you know, in, enjoy any trade with the outside world. It really puts you in a pinch and it did change for better or for worse to change the landscape of South Africa. So it does actually work. Yeah. But it has to be done properly. Yeah. The thing is, South Africa didn't have China backing them up. No. That's no. the thing. So if the rest of the world said sanctions against South Africa, mm. but China's like, but that's okay. We won't. We'll help you out. They would never have changed ever. So, you so know, in this situation, you'd have China in the background. Mm -hmm. That'll be like, okay, we'll make this not so bad for you, yeah. right? But then sanctions would need to be put on China. Yes. And that, that should have been done a long time ago, long, long guys, time ago. especially with the genocide. Yeah, and all this stuff. So yeah. sanctions do work, but they don't work. I mean, it's like if you've got someone who's hungry and, uh, you know, someone's feeding them all the time, so they're, they're okay. And they're like, hey, listen, I'm not going to give you any more food if you keep kicking that dog or whatever the case and then they're like, okay, I'll stop kicking the dog. But if, if you say, I'm not going to give you any, any more food because, you know, if you kick the dog, but then the neighbor says, but I'll give you food, so keep kicking the dog. It doesn't work. No. You absolutely have to cut them off anyway. But yeah, it takes time. Sanctions yeah. take time. And it also hurts the average person, which is bad. Yeah. Right? When you cut off Swift and you do all this stuff, it hurts the average Russian person. It will hurt the average well, Chinese I mean, person. Dude, but yeah. but that's why I said it takes time. It's awful. And it's something that needs, you know, it's it's hard to justify at times because you look at the humanist aspect of it. But you also have to cut off the top leadership yeah. because when that happens, then leadership can change and morph and, and kind of mold to become a better entity. Right. I mean, if I had to suffer as a young boy, not being able to have access to the things you did when you grew up, let's sure. just say, for instance, Nintendo. I know that's a stupid example to make. That's fine. In a, in a, in a terrible it's situation like this. But. There were so many aspects of just everyday life that I was denied simply because I'm South African and I grew up in a country where there were sanctions mm. against me. You know, you, you learn to adapt and survive. Mm. Okay, mm. adapt and overcome. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Russia had the same. Yeah. You know, they had Dendi and stuff yeah. instead of Nintendo because they couldn't get it. Right. That, the Soviet Union had similar things. Right. People overcome. But of course you're going to have fallout with the local population. You're not killing them or anything. No. You're just depriving them of certain, uh, certain things and it's awful. But that's the only way that's going to push change. Yeah. You know, because when the local citizens are like, listen, we're tired of this to the government. We want to be able to access, I don't know, Hollywood films or whatever it is that they can't access. Or we want to be able to do business with international banks. I want to be able to, you know. Get my uh, money. Yeah, get my money <laughs> and stuff. The local government might capitulate to that. That's what that sanctions are for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, start, to slap people on so, the wrist and say, stop yes, being bad. The average, local, the average person is going to suffer. Yes. And then the leadership will say, okay, maybe we shouldn't be running over civilian vehicles with tanks. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's piece an awful of, complicated situation. All right. <laughs>